Okay guys, so here I am playing Grand Theft Auto 5 on next-gen console, uh, Xbox One to be specific. And I did have Grand Theft Auto 5 on the Xbox 360, and I gotta say that game was a lot of fun. And when I heard that they would be re-releasing it for the Xbox One, I was pretty excited because at that point I had an Xbox One as well. Um, and then I heard that it was going to be another $60 for the game. And I was a little apprehensive at first, thinking that a lot of other games have something like this, like a re-release for you know a next-gen console. And a lot of times it's free, or it's only like a ten or twenty-dollar upgrade. So I was a little surprised to find that it was you know a full-price game, even though the game is you know ninety percent the same. Um, but through playing it, I've got to say it, uh, especially in the online, it has really proved itself to be to be worth the. Uh, buying again. Um, so we're just going to be playing the campaign here. And I remember playing, uh, originally I think I picked the, uh, the white Audi. <laughs> so I think this time I went for the, for the, you know, the red, was that an Aston Martin? Something like that. So uh, what I'll be doing is I'll be covering three small parts of the campaign from the three main characters point of view, just so you can get a look at what it looks like. Uh, and then I'll, I'll just kind of cut over to, uh, some of the multiplayer. Like I said, the multiplayer is really where this game shines. Um, I mean, it was good in the last in the last rendition on the 360, and from what I understand on the PS3. But it's just so much more fluid now. Um, you know, it's not laggy, and the character customization is really, really good. The characters before were really blocky, and, but we'll get to the get to that in a little bit. Uh, like I said, this game looks really good, and as you can see, I'm uh, taking advantage of this first person mode. I can't, I don't remember if you could go first person when you're in a car in the last one. I think you could, but uh, it's a lot better now. The animations and everything are, are a lot better and all of your uh, speedometer and all, all those gadgets all work actually in the car where you see them. Got some blood on the hood there. <laughs> then we're heading over to uh, Michael. Um, this is the very beginning, this is really the first uh, first interaction you have with Michael here. Uh, like I said, it looks really good, and one thing I do like is that in sometimes with these cinematic modes, you can just press the B button instead of having to hold it, and it will lock it and animate in uh, the cinematic mode. And it has a bunch of new cinematics, too, that are, that are really cool, really good for uh, capturing videos. Um, they make it, you know, look really... It gives the footage more depth, you know, more, more character. I enjoyed... Uh, all the textures and the renderings also a lot faster if you're flying from uh, one end of the map to the other. Sometimes if you get there too quickly it won't fully render or load and you kind of wait, gotta wait for the game to catch up. Now that, that really doesn't seem to problem, be a problem. I've been flying planes around and I mean I, I really haven't seen any issue like that. Not to mention there's a lot more traffic. I think with the, the stronger processing power of the next gen consoles they can render a lot more artificial intelligence. And, you know, have uh, a lot more of those AI characters walking around. Finally, we have our uh, everybody's favorite psychopath, Trevor. I think he's my—I fa think he's everybody's favorite character. Um, you can even see it from this—the opening uh, footage from when you first meet him. That uh, uh, I guess he's, he's the character that, that demands a bit of authority. That's got to be kind of tricky, though. One thing I do like about the game is the story is really good. Um, they did a good job of taking a character like Trevor and actually making him a likable character. There's all these uh, vehicles and everything now that you can use. Um, there's a bunch of new vehicles in the game. Not to mention new options and new guns for customization as well. Um, I didn't use this as much as other people, but I think now that there's more customization, I could definitely see myself uh, you know, getting more into uh, the guns and, and that aspect of the game. Uh, there's just a lot more options you have available to you, a lot more colors, ways to customize your weapons. Um, I spent a long time in here using a lot of that extra money, and then going out and using those weapons is really fun. But like I said, the campaign is really good. The storyline is is very good. I mean, for a game that's really just about, um, you know, shooting, driving, heists, I mean, you would think it doesn't really need to have that deep of a storyline, like it would still be a good game. It would be a great game still, if even if the storyline was pretty weak, but honestly, it's really good and I enjoy it. Uh, you can see that's one of the weapons I recently uh, 
customized. And the campaign is a lot of fun. You get to do a lot of things that uh, I think a lot of us have always wanted to do. <laughs> uh, like <laughs> riding on the wing of an airplane and shooting enemies, it's a lot of fun, it's very satisfying. The game does a really good job of uh, really getting you into the moment and making you feel like you're in control and you, know, you decide what's going to happen next. And I, I think that's you know that can be pretty hard to do in an open world game like Grand Theft Auto, but they did a really good job. This is our first look at flying. You get that first person mode while flying, and <laughs> I'm uh, kind of playing with all those uh, tech on them, or I don't know what, what you would call them. Um, all the gadgets inside the plane. Uh, and it, like I said, it just looks really, really good. The lighting is really good. The water just looks phenomenal. It looked really good in the last game, but now there's just so much more detail. Um, it's just, um, just much better quality. It's really cool to see the extra processing power and what these new consoles can do with it. And uh, I think Rockstar did a really good job of utilizing that. I mean, just look at that. I mean, that is just awesome looking. I mean, and especially for like an open world game like this, where you, <laughs> there's a lot of stuff that needs to be rendered, and you can go anywhere you can see. You can go and you can look at it up close, and it looks good. Trevor's definitely the character that, uh, um, the more controversial character. Uh, but thankfully, he's a pretty he's a pretty good pilot, so I do enjoy flying when I'm Trevor. I try to save any, anything I have to do while I'm flying for Trevor. And now we're going to hop over to the multiplayer. Some footage of myself as well as uh, Foxy Orca Whale and some fun we had on multiplayer. Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, he's always going to look... Uh, he's always going to look a little confused. <laughs> oh, good. Make him like you. Give him a really big nose. Wow. Like a big stupid nose. Or we have a uh, Voldemort here. Voldemort. <laughs> he looks like a pervert. <laughs> oh gosh. How about that? That's yeah. good. Spots. There's like seven different options for acne. I know. <laughs> what the heck? He literally looks like a drug addict. He's a right. magni. He needs to go see a dermatologist. Oh my gosh. Who was the guy that designed all these? He was busy, apparently. Yeah, right? God. Junkie. Oh my gosh, yes. Yes, right? he's a junkie. Isn't it cool? It looks like freaking Aaron Paul. Like yep. season three and a half. Keep going. Yeah, Logan, my guy looks like a total junkie with a tiny head. Oh my gosh, it's Aaron Paul. I'm just gonna name him Foxy. Aaron hey, Paul's gonna meet you on the corner by Michael's house. Alright, bitch, let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take his car. Where are you? Um, Yo! Did you see me? <laughs> Yeah, I look like a winner, huh? If I strolled in and asked for a job, would you hire me? <laughs> uh, she'll be okay. Oh, alright, I'm coming. You stop taking out light bulbs? Hey, get in, yo. Quit playing the guitar and get in. Where you at? Where is right, that you? Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, Agent Smith from <laughs> from the Matrix. I'm not letting you in. You're scary. <laughs> Quick, get in. They're after me. I need you to shoot. Don't shoot me. <laughs> get in. I need you to shoot for me. <laughs> Him out. I'm trying to be discreet. Do I look like any other normal person? Get it! 
Oh gosh. Let him get out of the car, then I'll take off. Ah, ha, I tricked you. It's really hard to drive with. Oh, I like it. I like it. What are you trying to say? <laughs> uh, it is so hard to drive without the tires, you know that? They're way underrated. They are super, super important. <laughs> Run! Run! <laughs> Hold on, you're... Oh gosh. Oh, there we go. Take the red one. Red ones are always faster. Are you in? Okay. You're in the wrong car! I'll follow you! <laughs> is all I give you with is one pistol to defend yourself? Hey, don't shoot at me! Oh gosh! I forgot what my guy looks like. <laughs> He's like talking to himself. Where the heck are you? I got a motorcycle. I gotta run some errands. I'm gotta run some errands. Okay, just give me a minute. Are you in the same? Oh my gosh, you're all the way over there. I told you, I've gotta run some errands. That's all you gotta know. <laughs> I want this car. <coughs> no, this one. Charger. Oh, cool. I got points for stealing a car. All right. Now, well, now where are you? Jeez. When I find you. I have errands to run. I'm hiding from my errands. Well, my engine light, my check engine light came on. That's a bad sign. Well, there's your problem. <laughs> I have a Mini Cooper stuffed into the front of it. I think I'll just take it. It's a game about economy. It's a very realistic economy. Holy moly is right! <laughs> yeah, it's really. When I find you, heaven help me. Let me drive all the way out here. I told you what would happen if I found you. Actually, I didn't tell you, but you're about to find out. <laughs> oh, oh my god. <laughs> what the heck? Why does he want to eat spaghetti? What the heck? <laughs> I told you what happened. I'm taking your car. <laughs> Here, get in. Get in. We're going shopping. <laughs> Oh, I'm stuck! Oh gosh, I'm Oh! I'm dead. I'm dead. Um, they're not happy. Oh gosh, is that you in the jet? Oh my gosh! <laughs> Yeah, you have a lot of cops after you. Oh, jeez. And the residual, like... Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's a jet in the road. Are you me? Yeah, you almost hit me. missiles at me. <laughs> what if I do? <sighs> no, they're not happy. They're shooting missiles at me. Yeah, 
Oh. He's not happy. He's still chasing you. Dude, I'm watching you freaking try to fight two other jets. Those are people that want me dead. My little jet get together. Right? Oh, yeah. I totally forgot. I have missiles and stuff, huh? <laughs> oh, gosh. No, don't jump out. No, don't jump out. Don't jump out. Oh, gosh, no. Oh, no. I'm coming in. All right. I see you. Come on in. Oh, 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 oh God. <laughs> Oh man! Oh gosh, the destruction just won't end. There's people on fire. Oh gosh, the cars exploding! Oh man! Oh my gosh, it's the RV. Just get down here somewhere. I will seriously die from that. I can see you up there. All right, jumping in the water. Should be like a suicide hotline here. Nah, uh, you're gonna die. Oh, I lived. <laughs> it was like two feet deep. <laughs> right, come on, hurry. I'm coming. So funny. <laughs> Look at these cops. They're so dumb. <laughs> this is a beautiful <laughs> picture. Look at him. <laughs> oh, you can't. That's right. Oh. Oh, well, that one was violent. Now it's serious. He's mad. I'm gonna take no, a picture. This oh beautiful gosh, moment. This is, so scary. <laughs> this is Logan and I enjoying the beach, having a wonderful day. Oh my gosh, what have you done? Ah. You, you have someone in your passenger seat there, Logan. <laughs> Ow, no! Ow! I literally lived through that. Oh gosh, no! Hurry! They're gonna find out I stole their booty. I thought you stole the train. No, I stole the booty. I, are you standing on the back of the train? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're gonna need to come to the side. All right, all right, all right, wait, 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 I gotta get up next to it. All right, here I come. All right, jump in. Ah! Oh my gosh, yes. What? <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Yeah, that's we got the booty. All right. Quick. Well, that'll about do it, guys. Thank you for taking a look at this. Uh, I had a lot of fun. This game is a lot of fun. Um, and like I said, the multiplayer, as you can see, is really where it shines. The character customization is just incredible, um, and it's just a ton of fun. You can do heists, you can you know take the game seriously, or I think like myself and I think majority of others tend to do, uh, just kind of get on with your friends and just screw around. It's you know it's just a lot of fun. Okay, well thanks for watching, guys. Go ahead and comment, like, and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time.